Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to configure face following Raspberry Pi 4 camera with the help of OpenCV and CV zone face tracking module. Okay, as you can see I have here our Raspberry Pi 4 camera module which I have mount on our servo motor. Okay, and then we have here we have here a PCA9685 servo motor driver board. Okay, as you can see this is what our servo motor driver board. Okay, so I have connect the servo motor with PCA9685 uh, servo motor driver board. Okay, so now first I am going to show you demo and then we are going to see all these things step by step. Okay, so let me show you demo. I have started the script and now if I move at the left side, you will see the camera will be move at left. Okay, so as you can see, I am moving at the left, camera is at the left, if I come at the center, camera come at the center, if I move at the right, it's moving at the right, again if I come at the center, it's coming at the center, okay, as you can see, it's following my face, I am continuously moving left, right, left, right, okay. So this is just a demo, now we are going to move on our Raspbian Buster legacy version desktop machine and we are going to see all these things step by step. But before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends, now let's get started. So friends, we are now on our desktop Raspbian Buster legacy version, a 32 bit version. Okay, so first what we want to do. We want to install the OpenCV, MediaPipe and TensorFlow Lite on our Raspbian Buster Legacy version. So I have already created the video. I will mention the video link, watch video and install all these basic modules. Okay. Then you need to simply open terminal and because we need here a CV zone. Okay. So as I mentioned, I have already installed OpenCV, TensorFlow Lite and MediaPipe on our Buster. So sudo, sudo pip3 install CV zone cv zone and just hit enter it will install cv zone on our raspbian buster legacy version okay as you can see i have already installed that's why it says the requirement is already satisfied that's it so this is how you need to install the cv zone okay then i have already created the video how to configure pca9685 or servo motor driver board with our raspberry pi 4 using raspbian buster legacy version i will mention the video link watch video and you need to first uh, connect the servo motor driver board with the raspberry pi 4 okay then uh, you need to install the package okay so i already explained all these things in uh, uh, how to configure the uh, uh, servo motor driver board with the raspberry pi 4 a pca9685 servo motor driver board okay so i have already uh, installed all these packages so i have mentioned here from cv zone face detection module import face detector okay then import cv2 then from adafruit servo kit import servo kit this is the uh, module for uh, controlling the pca9685 servo motor driver board okay then uh, this is the channels uh, okay so 16 channels i have here a uh, 16 channels uh, pca9685 servo motor driver board that's why i have mentioned the 16 then that, that's it then uh, this is what our a basic code okay cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture it will capture our raspberry pi 4 camera okay so i have here only one camera which is our raspberry pi 4 camera that's why i have mentioned the index number is zero simple then detector is equal to face detector okay uh, we need to create the variable so detector is just a variable so detector variable represent our face detector module okay so as you can see i have mentioned our module face detector then the while loop okay while loop and this is what our basic code success image then cap dot read okay then img is equal to cv2 dot flip method because we need to first flip our raspberry pi for camera frame so minus one then again we are going to uh, flip the frame okay so one then uh, img b box detector dot find faces so detector is our variable as you can see so detector variable is represent our face detector module so we need to call detector dot find faces and inside that we need to pass our img so img and b box is equal to our variable detector dot find f capital faces and inside that we need to pass the img that's it then if there is b box means if there is face 
then we can simply create a new variable which is center one okay and this variable represent our b box and inside that we need a first result so zero and we need a face center point so for that we need to mention the center like this way okay center simple then uh, from center we have x and y coordinates okay so we need here only x coordinates for that i have mentioned another variable which is the x medium and this variable represent our center one and from center one we need here only first index so first index is basically our x so x is basically zero so zero it will only give us the first value which is the x value okay then of course c 2 in show it will uh, show us the image then the web key then cap dot release and then c 2 destroy all windows so this is what our basic code it will detect my face and it will detect our center point okay so this is the basic code simple if i start the code and as you can see it's detecting my face there is a rectangle on my face okay so we have successfully detect our face now what we want here if i start the frame again okay so what basically we are going to do here we are going to create here a left and right okay points we need here a left and right point so let's say if my face is going at the left side we need some numbers okay if i'm if my face is going right side again we need numbers okay so we need a particular range of numbers simple so for that what i am going to do i am going to simply create here another variable oh uh, let's say a a is the variable a is represent our x medium so a is equal to our x medium which is our face first point which is the x point okay so x medium okay so a is equal to x medium okay divided by 62 divided by 62 if i print if i print a okay if i save the code if i run the code now it's started our frame and as you can see inside the shell we have some numbers okay so if my face go at left as you can see the number is decrease it's go a zero if my face go at the right side the number is increasing four five six seven okay as you can see seven is there eight again if i come at the left is number is decreasing means the range is lower if i go right the range is up it's higher okay as you can see six seven so we are going to use this range for controlling the servo motor basically we are going to use this range for following our face with the help of servo motor okay so what we are going to do if you watch my old video where i have explained how we can control the servo motor with the help of pca 9685 then you definitely know we have here angle so 90 is basically straight angle for our servo motor with the help of servo kit so when we start our code by default a servo motor is basically in 90 uh, angle we can say so position is basically 90 when we start our code by default the servo motor position is 90 90 simple so for that i have mentioned here position is just a variable and when the code is start the servo motor will be move at 90 degrees as you can see i have mentioned 90 simple and this is what our command for controlling the angle with the help of pca 9685 servo motor driver board so kit dot servo as you can see the kit the kit is basically represent our servo kit uh, module from adafruit servo kit import servo kit okay and inside that we need to mention the channels means the pins how many pins we have on our servo motor driver board the 16 pins okay so channels is basically 16 and from 16 channels I have here only one servo motor which is I have connect with the zero channel so I have mentioned here zero as you can see 
the zero. Suppose if you connect the servo motor uh, with first channel, you need to mention first. If you have three motors, so of course you need to mention this command at three time. So one, two, and three. Three time you need to mention this command. Okay. So I have here only one one servo motor which I have connect with the zero channel. So I need to mention inside uh, inside that zero. Simple. It will control the servo motor. I have basically connect on the zero channel. Okay, simple. So kit dot servo and zero is the channel number dot angle and the position. So by default position is ninety. So when we start our code, servo motor automatically move at ninety angle. It will come at the ninety angle. Okay, simple. So this is how. This is basically our default. Position for our servo motor. That's it. Now, where here we have our range for left, right. So simply we can use this range for controlling our servo position. Okay. So how we can do this? Simply what we want to do here, we want to simply say like this way. If here after print, we can create if condition. So if if a is in between 5 to 20 if a is in between 5 to 20 means it's greater than 5 our basically we are going to move at the right when the range is greater than 5 we are moving at the right side when the range is less than 5 we are moving at the left side so we can create the condition if the a so I mistakenly delete here a so a is basically our x medium divided by 6 to 2 okay so in a in between 20 and 5 okay if a in between 20 and 5 then what we want to do we want to we want to plus our position means we want to increase the position okay so by default we mention here our position 90 so we can simply call the position with plus is equal to 1.5 okay so let's say here position position plus is equal to 1.5 okay so by default what is our position 90 it will increase the position using 1.5 value okay so this is how when we uh, when we move when our face will move at right side our servo motor will be move at right side and of course our camera will uh, follow our face at the right side okay so this is what for if the range is greater than 5 now simply we can say here elif elif if if the range is less than 5 so a in between 4 and 1 if a in between 4 and 1 then we we can simply create a minus angle so position will be minus so position position minus is equal to 1.5 that's it that's it okay now we need to simply print here our position okay we need to simply print the position and what we need here just save the code and we need here our command for moving servo angle so just copy the command from here and just paste over here here okay and then we need to simply pass our position okay this is the live position here it's default position 90 when our camera track our face we will get the live condition means we will get the live position with the help of our conditions if a is if a is greater than 5 or if a is less than 5 so this is what our condition and then we will get a current position and then we need to mention our position variable for controlling the servo angle okay so this is how we can simply create 
a face following a raspberry pi 4 camera with the help of servo okay simple so if i save the code if i run the code now as you can see it's tracking my face just a minute okay so if i go at left side as you can see camera is moving as you can see it's move again if i go at the right side camera is moving okay if i come at the left camera is moving okay as you can see so this is our friends you can easily configure face following raspberry pi 4 camera with the help of pca 9685 servo motor driver board okay so i will mention the full code inside my github link you need to simply download the link and then you will get the full code okay i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you check and bye bye